Hey guys, so I have some chores I need to do today. I have to move one of my fig trees that is just so miserable where it's at. It is a tiny little fig that produced nothing and all my other figs are just happy as can be. So I am going to move it and see if moving it maybe will give it a little fresh start. And I'll also check for nematodes. I also have to harvest my Jerusalem artichokes, which are definitely died back at this point. So come along. look so check it out I have like a couple little tiny these I actually have to replant but I want to show you my dirt look how amazing this dirt is look at those little tiny things look at how nice this dirt is that's amazing dirt so no wonder my figs are so happy over here I'm a little disappointed. That is like not what I was expecting. I heard they were prolific. And what? That's all I got? From that was from one. Just in case I missed some. Wow, okay, so not many. So let me just put these back in my little container. Oh, my chickens will be happy with that. Here's another one. Maybe this will be better luck. This one is much, much better. I'm happy with this. This is like a nicer haul. <laughs> Thank goodness. Just digging around looking for what looks like a sun choke. See, there's some tiny ones this size, and that's awesome because you can just replant that. This dirt is incredible. Gosh. Here's a little, t oh, that's grass. <laughs> oh. I think I got them all. Here's another one. And I can see them here just sitting on the ground. These are the old sun chokes. Of course I wanna. And they're just like laying all over the ground here. They've probably been dug in by the chickens. I just put my hand in something nasty and wet. Probably a rotten sun choke. <gasps> Ooh. I don't know what I'm putting my hand in there, but not a fan. Oh, very cool. 
I guess there's a certain time you need to harvest and I was pushing it. These are lovely. I don't water this side of my yard at all. And it hasn't rained in several days. But look at how this dirt is definitely holding water. So that's probably why my fig trees are so happy over here. Well, I was worried that I wasn't gonna get that many <laughs> after that first one, but apparently that was a fluke. This is the kind of thing I wish my mom could be here for. She would love this. She is at home with my dad, hanging out, watching football probably. I think I'm gonna have to buy myself one of those little potato rakes. I don't mind leaving a few in the ground because I hear you don't have to plant them. They just come back. Gosh, these are amazing. So I have just finished with my sun choke harvest. 
Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Look at my harvest. And you can see the size. I mean, that's pretty big. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, and I missed one. These are the sun chokes. And I plant, oh, and look at that, I've missed several. I plant them all, oh my God, look at this one. Come here, come to mama. Let me just go get the shovel. This is why I own so many shovels. I like to keep them all over the place. Now I'll just compost this in place. This grass is not gonna gain purchase in a pile of wood chip. Let's inspect this poor half dead fig. It's my Texas blue giant. Poor thing is just miserable here. I think it has nematodes. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is nematode damage. I'm looking at some little round buds almost on the root. I'm gonna look online and make sure that I don't infect all my other figs right over there. I'll have to ask some people online. And then, I mean, look at, how could it just have this amount of roots in my lush tropical garden? That makes no sense. Hop along. Hop along, what is it, mama? What is it, little mama? What is it, hop along? What's the problem? There goes hop along. So I've finished harvesting my sunchokes and I have now stored them in plastic bags like this. Um, you want to seal them to where they cannot lose any moisture. So you need them to be at 95% humidity in the bag. So I put a wet paper towel in there with them. You can store them up to 34 degrees, between 32 and 34 is preferred. And I happen to have a refrigerator that I keep things almost frozen, but not quite frozen. So this will be perfect for that. Um, I got a total of 18 pounds, 18.2 pounds of sunchokes, which is pretty good for a harvest that, a plant that required no effort on my part at all. So I'm excited about that. And what I will end up doing is saving these. My brother-in-law is an awesome chef. Ebenezer is gonna be coming down in, in from North Carolina with my sister and the nieces. And at that point, I'll ask him to cook our whole family a big meal. I didn't wash them off. I didn't put the two rotten ones that had a little bit of rot on them. I'm going to actually cut the rotten parts off and eat those today. But I'm pretty excited about these sunchokes. These, this was an awesome harvest of a plant that's really beautiful. So I'm also going to save some of the large ones and I'm going to replant them. I'm going to make sure this time I'm going to be planting them a lot more places. I should have been harvesting these all along. I could have maybe harvested, um, you know, over time. And so what my goal is maybe next year or this coming in 2022 to be able to have these in my yard where I'm just regularly pulling from them as needed. I had these one time cooked on a salad. It They taste like little potatoes, but um, since they're organic, you can eat the whole thing. You just wash them off really well, slice them up like scalloped, and then just fry them in, you can fry them in olive oil or with garlic. It's just, they're such a treat and they're really delicious. And I think they're less carbs than potatoes too. So they're called Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes is another name. So I did contact a lot of the fig groups that I'm in and it looks like that is nematode. So I'm not going to be putting that anywhere near my other fig varieties, but what I'm going to do is cut that into parts and I will root that. 
so that I can then plant the rooted. I'm, I'm not gonna use any part of that root. Um, it'll just go in the garbage, the root. It's not even gonna go in my compost heap. I don't want those nematodes to be spread. That area might, um, might have been from when I purchased the plant because I don't have it on any of my other fig varieties, which is a little bit odd. So what I'm gonna do is dig up that area and I'm gonna actually throw that in the garbage. Um, just in case the nematodes were confined to that one small area and maybe I don't have it in my yard in other areas, I just don't wanna risk it. So I will go ahead and dig that up and toss it in the, in the trash. Well, thanks so much for coming on the tour with me. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Bye.